Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about Cauchy residue theorem. So now I want to show you how to answer. If we look carefully about this one, this is about a clip. So the standard formula of this one we have a square over c square plus b square over d square equals to number one so this one that is about number 16 so c equals to number four and this is about number nine so d equals to number three and now we need to graph about this one About A, we have number 4. So number 4 we put in here. And negative number 4 I will put in here. About B, that is about number 3. So I will put negative number 3 cone here. And positive number 3 cone here. And now we need to graph this one. So now we need to find the both so we need to concentrate about the denominator in here so i will put I go to the right, number two, go to the right. So we know that Z equals to A plus B I. So we change Z into A plus B I. So we know that i, that is about 0 plus 1i. Negative number 2, that is about negative number 2 plus 0i. So that means a equal to number 0, 1 equals to b. Similar for the second one. So A equal to number 0, B equals to number 1. This one we have negative number 2 and number 0 cone here. Now we need, we need to find the location 0, number 1 and negative number 2, 0 in here. For this one, 0, number 1, that is in this one in here. Negative number 2, 0, so A in negative number 2 cone here. So we can see that 2 volts inside about the cone 2 in here. So we need to accept all of them. Now let's consider about z equals to negative number 2. So we have 3 of z equals to z plus number 2 multiplied by f of z. f of z, that is about this one not include about this z, so this one, that's about number 1. So we multiply by z plus 2. We simplify, we just have only z minus 1 to the, or z minus i to the power of 2.
And now we can find about residue F at negative number 2. So I will put negative number 2 going here. And this is for z equals to negative number 2. The next one z equals to i. So we see that we have the power 2. So in this situation, we need to create about the factor to eliminate the power 2 in here. So for this one, we have we can put negative i in here. Later that we need to put back positive i. Now we can do about factorization by 2 plus i. So that should be like this. Now, the next one we can use about the sum of geometric progression. So, for this one, we have h n equals to a1 over 1 minus r. So, a1 in here, that is about the first term. And R, that's the about common ratio. So, if we look carefully about this one, number one, that is about A1. The common ratio, that's the about this one. But this is about negative. In here, that's the about positive. So, A1 in here equals to number one. Or that's the about negative z minus i over 2 plus i. So we need to transform this one into the series. So we have a1 plus a1r plus a1r square and so on in here. So for this one, we have 1 over 2 plus i. That's it from here. Multiply by a1, we have number 1. a1 multiply by r, we have the negative sign here. A1 or square because this is about even power, so the negative will become the positive. This one that is the odd power, so we have the negative sign here. So because the first term that is about one, number one in here, number one in here, and number one in here. So we can eliminate number one next to about R. So after we have everything in here, we can multiply by Z minus I square. So we keep the same 1 over 2 plus i. And now z minus 1 square we multiply by this one. So we have 1 over z minus i square. 
So the next one we simplify z minus i on numerator. So we just have only one over two plus i multiplied by z minus i. So the next one we simplify z minus i square. So we just have only one over two plus i to the power of two. So we know that we apply the same formula like this. That means this one we have f of z. Now in this situation, we have 3 of z equal to z minus i multiplied by f of z. So if we look carefully about this one, if we put this one gone here, we have 1 minus oh, 1 over z minus i. If we put i gone here, they will go to infinity because 1 divided by 0, you have both, uh, you have the infinity. This one, if we multiply by z minus i, so we just have only negative 1 over 2 plus i. This one, if we multiply by z minus i, so we have like this. And later that, when we need to find about residues, we need to put i cone here. So this one you got zero. Similar for the next one, they still got about zero in here. So the residue of this one, we just have like this, multiplied by one over two i in here. So this one, we have negative 1 over 2 plus i to the power of 2. And now we have the final answer. So this one, we have 2bi multiplied by the sum of the residues. So the first one in here and the second one that's it in here. So we simplify. So for this one that's it in here. And this one will go in here. So we know that negative, negative, we put outside with the power 2, that will become the positive. So this one minus this one, so we have number zero. That is the end. Thank you for watching.